Hi there. In, in this video, I'm going to give you a good um, starter on using SQL Server with ArcGIS Pro or, or indeed ArcMap. Um, it's uh, what, what I'm going to show sort of effectively works works for both in more or less the same way. Um, but I'll, I'll be using Ar Ar ArcGIS Pro. So here you can see I've got the SQL Server Management Studio. It's, it's 18, I think. Yeah, 18.6. So it's a bit, bit out of date, but it's fine for this. Um, and I, I've already got this installed, which is a free download, um, and uh, which is great. This is Express. Um, it's actually, as you can see, 2019 Express. So you could just download that and, and have a play. If I look in ArcGIS Pro, uh, this is 2.8, I think. Um, but again, this works on lots of earlier versions. What, what, what I've got here is uh, a, uh, I've got some pubs, that's where all the dots are, and I've got postcodes, uh, that's what all the polygons are. Some of these dots are outside the postcodes, and I manually selected these these polygons uh, as sort of what, what you call sort of city or urban um, postcodes, that's a manual selection. So I've created this and I've called them uh, Leicester postcodes. Uh, those pubs are Leicester pubs, um, like I say, so when I click, on let's say one outside, uh, that's the inn, uh, been there a few times, and uh, that's outside of these polygons, but there's a lot inside. So what what, what I'd like to do, and yes, that 3857 is a reference to, to the web Mercator, um, but um, uh, I'll, I'll cover that in a second. Um, so what, what I'd like to do is effectively do what I'm going to show you here, where I've got personal geodatabase, you see, it's just GDB in, in my D drive. But I want to do all that, what I'm going to show here, SQL um, spatial uh, analysis, just some point and polygon stuff, um, and do that within SQL Server effectively and give the job to SQL Server. Uh, so I'm going to end up with a view, uh, and that view is going to just going to draw all the dots outside of these polygons. So we, we know if we get into it, we know that on the on the map here, we can do a select by location and do things like well, um, highlight any any postcode uh, that contains um, some pubs. Okay, so if we click apply, we'll see all these and uh, there's forty three features. So that's that's simply you know which of these selected, um, sorry, which of these sort of urban postcodes contain at least one pub and there's quite a lot left out on the outside as you can see so that's the kind of query I want to run from SQL Server uh, actually that exact one and, and also build on it and, and create a view uh, but 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 also to say uh, well what, what about the ones on the on the outside so uh, and I'm going to do that actually as a view I'm going to do that query although we can do it here I'm going to do that query inside SQL Server so the jobs given to the database which uh, in in various um, organizations would be on its own database server and therefore would have a lot of oomph to it uh, rather than the local PC. So let's go back let's go back to the studio management studio if I can find the icon there it is got many. So I'm going to start from scratch so I'm going to create a new database right click database I'm going to call it SQL server um, AG Pro uh, just for Arches Pro. Uh, it's just for that work. So I've got this empty database now. There's 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 nothing in it, but I've created it inside um, SQL Server, as you can see. So it exists. Let's just minimise that. Now, if I go to the databases in my catalog pane here, I can new database connection, select new database connection to connect to that SQL Server. Because if I'm going to do some spatial analysis on this lot, I need the data in the database in the in the first place. So, so really what, what we're talking about here is shifting what we're doing from a personal file-based geodatabase, i.e. this file you can see on your hard disk, uh, to do all of that inside a database and therefore take advantage and lever, or leverage all, all the benefits of having a database um, you know, and all the power that comes with it with a database by default. New database connection. Uh, it's already on SQL Server. You can see there's lots of other types there. Uh, that's my instance. Um, I can 
tell you anything. It's oper it's operating system authentication. That's how I set my database up in the first place. And then when you click on this down arrow, it'll refresh um, once it's got the connection. And there you go, SQL Server AG Pro. If you're um, in, not not sure about what the instance is, it's you, you just go to here, go to properties, and you and you copy and paste that. That's 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 what you're connecting to. You see, so cancel that. Go back to here. See that's that. So you just copy and paste in that. So it goes SQL Server AG Pro. That's what it's created. Press OK, and um, it knows I've made this connection a few times. So let's let's call it um, uh, SQL Server um, Demo. Okay, so that's just the name of the uh, database connection. That's all. It's neither here nor there. But it's empty. There's there's nothing there. And, and that's the point, it is empty. So let's um, import the data. So let's import, uh, we can we can do um, multiple in, in, in one go. Uh, I'll just do it individual so you can clearly see. So I'm gonna grab the pubs, drag it into input features. So it's just, uh, that, that, that was just an import um, feature class, okay. Um, it's going to go into that SQL Server. That's correct. This is just pubs. So I'm, 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 I'm going to call it pubs. Just call it pubs. Not going to bother about anything else. Let's run. So pubs has been um, added to the SQL Server database. As you can see on the left hand side, it's added. You can see the .bo that's sort of full uh, qualifying there. Full qualifier. If you go back to here, hit refresh. Go to tables you'll see pubs. So let's just um, put that to one side again. Uh, and let's just do the postcodes. Drag it up top. Let's call that um, B codes. So it's in the same database connection. Database connections have that .sde um, extension. Uh, and, and, they get, and there you go. Let's just close that one for a second. Um, and you can see how we've got these two in the database connection and we've got uh, postcodes and pubs there. So I will uncheck that one and uncheck this one because they're, they're the local ones. So now I've got just this um, owner DBO, th th just this um, uh, pubs and postcodes coming from SQL Server. And sure enough, if I refresh on here, you'll see postcodes and pubs. Okay, let's put that back again. So we know that um, you know we, we can we can do the, the select by location here, but like I said, what, what I want to do is do everything now in SQL Server because we have the everything we need. If we look at columns. You can see we've got this unique identifier, good old object ID, which is the Esri unique identifier. Um, sort of reserve keyword and there's shape so by default it calls um, geometry shape you could change that um, but I, I just left it sort of by default really so if we did a new query we could do something like um, uh, we could pick off I'm just going to copy and paste this so you can see so what what, what this is going to do is it's if you're familiar with, with, with SQL Server, you know, distinct will make sure it always comes back with a unique name, um, won't, won't, won't repeat them, but um, the, the uh, and it's looking at the postcodes and the pubs, but the only, um, uh, the, the only query I've got um, running here, this, this function, is what's called ST contains. So ST contains returns one or zero, so one is success and zero is 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 failure so the idea is that you're looking at uh, this shape which is from o which is postcodes uh, I've, I've just used this alias here um, and uh, where it contains uh, a shape from b which is b for pubs so if i execute that you'll see down at the bottom right here 43 rows so that's correct we we we, we know that's correct uh, so we've got a spatial query successfully running um, on our data in SQL Server. 
just just another thing to note here it, it's it you can still do the same query if I go if I look at this select by location you can see look I can I can still say choose all my database postcodes that contain one of my database pubs you see what I mean so when I, when I press apply I get 43 so there I am still carrying out the same query exact same query on the database data and and getting a um, result back this is the correct result that is so um, what we're talking about here is running everything through SQL with you know with no, no arches pro sort of present well, another thing you might um, want to do is and here's a a more complicated one let's just get rid of that so here what I'm, uh, what, I'm what I've done um, let me just rename these back to pubs I'll change the name Pubs. All these qualifiers and stuff, it depends how you're how you're sort of set up and what you've called things. DBO dot in square brackets and stuff. Um, depends how you're configured um, your system, but but that, that's how you would sort of properly format it, structure it. Uh, so what what this is saying, this is this is slightly more complicated as you can see, is th this is saying answering that question where the dots are outside my urban uh, polygons so th this is where show me all the pubs uh, where the uh, pub code uh, the code is actually a unique um, reference to a pub I mean if if we um, y y there's, a, there's a unique number per pub if I, if I look at it in the on the map you'll see um, see how we're flicking back and forth and just doing the same sort of thing but but it's useful to see how how you can, you can it's very um, tight the the relationship so the um, what my, that's postcode sorry I meant to look at uh, pubs uh, so there's the code column you see so it's all these unique numbers so I'm going to pick out unique number uh, where it's not in and then I'm going to build my list and and what is a list well it's unique codes where a um, pub um, is within so I'm using another um, uh, function there uh, a postcode so it's set to one where it's true so select pub codes from the pub table but join it across to um, the postcodes table where a postcode so where a pub because that's P P for pub um, is within an O shape and O shape is postcode geometry so there's a join going on um, there so what you end up with let's just run this is 95 rows and you can see them listed so these are all the pubs that are outside my map well let's go to the map let's let's um, I don't know, click on one so that's the malt shovel so to here and um, you can see um, well let us um, there it is could have just sorted it actually but anyway there's the malt shovel so um, so it's definitely working um, but what, what, what you may say is and the final bit of this that I want to show you is is actually creating a view because maybe this is something you always want to see, something that is outside of an area of interest. So what we, we, so we can easily um, create a view uh, just by using the create view statement. So we create view, and let, let, let's call it, um, uh, so it's outside Leicester, isn't it? Um, so let's call it pubs outside uh, Leicester. Okay, so as, as a, a, a Probably a very poor name actually but <laughs> pubs outside Leicester and then uh, as and uh, that's all you need so run that and so now if we look in um, views um, sorry wrong bit if we look in um, uh, in the views sorry it just needs to refresh actually uh, views there you can now see this view Okay, let's do a new query.
Anyway, there it is, you see, so the view works. The, the issue with that, though, is that if in um, ArcGIS Pro, if, if we refresh this, you see how we get pubs outside Leicester, that's, that's great. But when we drag it into here, we can't, sorry. When we drag it into here, it'll, um, it won't map because there's, there's nothing, there's no unique identifier, there's no spatial data, etc. So what, what you've got is, is effectively just, just, this is just a table. Um, that's that's all. So we need to we need to change that. And the way the way you could do that, the way you would do that, is actually by adding what you need for Esri for ArcGIS Pro to what you're returning. So you would return object ID and shape. Okay, and it prompted me. So what what you're doing there is is bringing back the main two things well the, the, the key two things and it is indeed a key object ID that you need to map in ArcGIS Pro so I'll have to drop this um, delete that view first and then rerun it so now in my um, view let's refresh you'll see in the columns I've got pub name object ID and shape and that's something very much that ArcGIS Pro will understand. So back in ArcGIS Pro, I press F5, refresh. Pubs uh, outside Leicester. Let's just we can um, drag it onto the map, and there you go. Let's turn off everything, all the other pubs, um, postcodes, and stuff. And sure enough, we have all the dots outside of those postcodes. You see. They're all outside. So we've done a spatial query, finding all the dots, all the pubs that are outside of the area of, of interest. But it's now view. So that view is easily, um, obviously it'll be reading the raw data, the updating, and save someone else writing the query um, if they weren't so um, sort of clear on, on SQL Server and stuff. And um, you can, um, when, you look, when you look at that, you can see a bit more um, info about what, what, what the name is as well on the properties it looks all good it's got the SRID that I wanted etc and you can see what else is going on particularly the definition so you can you can confirm exactly what's get what's going on there so that's just view properties so anyway so um, th there you go uh, I, I hope you find that useful it's a bit of a whirlwind view but it's really just to show you how quick and easy it is to um, to get into um, SQL Server and, and get that mapping your data.